Bible of the month of meeting to order, we order by Priest Rise. <coughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we call upon you this evening, asking for your guidance in our decision making. Give us the wisdom to make our judgments based on the best interests of this community and the children we serve. These things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Ms. Dyson, will you lead us in a pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's vote a roll call, please. Mr. Campbell? Here. Mr. Egan? <laughs> You're here. I'm Ms. Jackson? Ms. Lee Bowman. Ms. Lemoyne is not with us. Ms. Dysart. Here. Mr. England. Here. Mr. Long is not with us tonight. Mr. Smith. Here. Mr. Warner. Here. And Ms. White. Here. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to communications. Uh, Super News. Ms. Pritchard. Glad to have you here tonight. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Our August communications brief includes the most recent press releases put out by the district since the last time I saw y'all. We've also included social media and website analytics. We're trending up in every area as we would hope and expect in the beginning of the school year. So we're ramping our communications efforts up. In fitting with our theme of gratitude, I did also want to express a sentiment of gratitude. As you may know, each of our schools has a designated communication liaison that supports us. These school representatives support our communications efforts by updating their school websites, sharing pictures, and keeping families informed via their school's social media platforms. And I would just like to take a moment to share my gratitude to these employees for their hard work and dedication to our students and to our families. And with that, we now present to you the August episode of Super News. There was music at the CAC, second lining in the CBD, and new principals at AJ and NPT. Those stories and a whole lot of gratitude are coming your way on this back to school episode of Super News. Hi, I'm Lexi Pritchard. And I'm Barry Lamorne, and welcome back to school and welcome back to Super News, where we share some of the good things happening in our school district. We'll kick things off with our back to school kickoff event. With a focus on gratitude, over 900 of the district's employees gathered for this traditional welcome ceremony and pep rally. It was great to be in person again to celebrate this day with our colleagues and friends. We'd also like to give a shout out to a pair of sisters, Halima and Henna Jaber, and Judy Rockwell and Sarah Felt for sharing their time and talents in bringing some of our videos to life. School's a place where you can find your way. I leave you with one last thought. Let's strive to love and protect our children. Let's meet them where they are while never lowering the bar for excellence. Our work here is about children and after this past year or two, our children need us more than ever. The rally was also a good time to recognize Justin Templet as the Louisiana High School Teacher of the Year. School was always an important place for me. It was a place I felt accepted. It was a place I, place I felt valued. It was a place I felt that I was able to grow both academically and socially and uh, personally. And uh, that was because of the people in that building the building I now work at. And that's the biggest honor for me. The fact that like, you know, there's some of the people are still there, like Wayne Water and Miss, and Miss Munt, uh, who model every day what it means to like really sincerely care about kids. I not only saw that uh, as a teenager myself, I now see it as a fellow educator and it still inspires me. And it's like, man, if I can be one tenth of what they are, I've really done a darn good job. We're so proud of him and grateful for his legacy of learning that is part of the tradition at Shumman High School and throughout our school district. I tell you, Lexi, if you were gonna make a template for good teaching, he'd be it. Our updated emergency and crisis plans were also part of the presentation. 
We are pleased to have such encompassing documents in place and thankful for the cooperation of our community partners in bringing it to life. Whenever there's an issue or an incident within our school system, we make one phone call. You know, we call the Sheriff's Department, they're there like a flash. If we have issues that we need to call upon our firefighters, they're, they're there. Everyone is so agreeable, everyone is so responsive. You know, our parish government guy has really set the tone um, in terms of cooperative working as agencies all together. So I just want to thank all of you gentlemen for your efforts in helping us to make it safe for our school children to be there. There's another crisis that we're also addressing this school year, the challenges of literacy and students who read below grade level. Professional development of our teachers on foundational literacy, support to encourage parental involvement, and a number of strategies and interventions are all in place to help our students succeed. And speaking of literacy and success, I would like to commend three statewide winners from our St. Bernard Reading Association, Yvonne Ben, Heather Morrell, and our very own Lexi Pritchard. Congratulations. Thanks, Barry. It's just like they say, teamwork makes the dream work. And just as it was the first day back to school for many of our students, it was also a special day for two of our middle school principals, as Kara Colburn and Todd Larsh at Trist and AJ respectively began their tenure at the helm. Congratulations on your new positions, and we know that you will continue to build on the success established over the years. I am thankful that I've had some great leaders to walk in their shoes. I'm coming into this role behind Ms. Pritchard, who's been one of my favorite leaders that I've worked under. I also was lucky enough to work under Pat Porsche. I've worked under Louis Bowden, who was just a great asset to St. Bernard Parish Schools as well. Um, I've worked under Ava Swan. So I think that all of those administrators that I've worked under, they've groomed me to be the person I am today. And speaking of established success, we would like to congratulate everyone involved in the Academy's production of Anastasia. It truly was a highlight of the summer and a true testament to talent and teamwork. Now everyone is equal, professors push the rooms, two dozen total strangers live in two small rooms. You hold a revolution, and here's the price you pay. Thank goodness for the gossip, placebo, tazbuki. Thank goodness for the gossip that gets us through the day. Hey, have you heard? There's a rumor in St. Petersburg. Have you heard what they're saying on the street? Although the door did not survive, one daughter may be still alive. The Princess Anastasia! But please do not repeat. It's a rumor, a legend, a mystery. Something whispered in an alleyway or through a crack. It's a rumor that's part of our history. Kudos to the cast, crew, the orchestra, and all of the behind-the-scenes folks who brought this story to life. We'd also like to give a shout out to Judy Rockwell, who brought musical theater to the Cultural Arts Center as well, hosting a musical camp for some of the younger students. Let's take a look. Nice job, everyone. We'd also like to congratulate one of our student athletes from Shumut High School, Brendan Zahn, a standout pitcher and outfielder who was recently named to the All-Metro Baseball team and was an All-State Honorable Mention. Congratulations to him as he continues his career, and good luck to all of our coaches and players in this upcoming season. Well, that's about all the time we have, but before we go, let's take a peek at the recent Louisiana School Board Association conference that was held in New Orleans. Here, we see the members of our Shamat High School band leading the second line to kick off the event. The parish pride was evident, as was the contagious spirit of the music. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Super News, where we always let the, the Super, Super News roll. roll. Have a good school year. I'd just like to say that uh, opening a school 
with all the kids going into the into the school, say at Davies, that's where I was, and I said you was at the course. Um, watching, and so what happened is watching those kids go into this to the school itself it brought back memories as far as them becoming our next leaders in this parish, you know, because this board gives them the tools to work to get that 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 growth and that and that good nourishment. We must. Um, one was saying before, you know, about free lunches for everybody, you know, K through 12. You know, we, we got a grant for that. And this board did that. So I just want to say thank you. Anybody else? Ms. Dysart? Just congratulations to you, Ms. Burchard, as being one of the um, uh, reading select Association. reading association um, winners. Congratulations, and much. congratulations to all the teachers who um, actually got that award, and to all of those on the Super News, and as Mr. England said, the um, school day opening was very smooth, and um, we appreciate all the teachers and parents and students who made it so smooth come, come into a new school year very smoothly. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other from the board members? Ms. Pritchett, thank you again. Okay. The next we're going to have a presentation by the St. Bernard Retired Teachers Association. I have Mr. Paul Gretel. A long time. And crew. And crew. Well, Paul, can you introduce everybody? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, just want to say something. You know, I left here in 2006, I retired, and some of y'all are still here. <laughs> it's like you know, y'all for the Wayne Warner record or something. I don't know. But anyway, okay, these are our St. Bernard Retired Teachers uh, Chapter Association officers. Rosemary Joy, I know y'all know her. Mm -hmm. And she's the vice president of no, um, Treasurer. Treasurer, I'm sorry. The money lady. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to I, I still am state advisor for DECA, the student organization, and all of our kids are vice president of finance, and that's what almost what I introduced her as. <laughs> Mickey Lux is the vice president of, of a secretary. No, she's the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> and Cindy Cokey, uh, if y'all remember Cindy, yeah. and her mother was Nerly Grafer, who was a retiree, uh, and mm -hmm. was my inspiration to become a teacher back when I had her in 10th grade math at Shaman High. <laughs> uh, and, and Cindy is the vice president. She's the vice president of vice presidents. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, and I, when I came in to teach in the parish in 1971, your mother, Nurley, was moving to a counselor, which opened up the math position that I oh, took. Yeah. Right there. Right. <laughs> and then we all heard something about free lunch. We wanted to know where we line up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, uh, it's so good to see all of you. And some of you are, are new and I've never met, but um, uh, some of you were here when I left, so uh, and you know, so it's great to see all of you again. And I, I saw Tom Diana's first school board meeting I've been to since I was teaching, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at the crowd. I said, "Well, that's a good sign. That means y'all aren't doing anything really political or, <laughs> or aggravating that parent with anything." But anyway, so that's a good sign. I know. Uh, but anyway, we're here to, you know, we, we talk, we, we meet four times a year, our organization, and um, we're trying to center it all back into St. Bernard Parish, because after Katrina, we were in four corners of the earth. In fact, I live near Baton Rouge. Um, but so, so our efforts now are to try and recruit more members from St. Bernard so that the organization, instead of us having lunches across the lake and you know, where the population of our organization is, we're slowly moving it back to the parish. That's our goal. So, um, in fact, we've been doing our last several meetings in the parish, so we, and the next one is in September. And I know some of y'all are retired from whatever job you had <laughs> outside of school board. You haven't retired from the school board. And you certainly can, Diane is a member, Doris is a member, you can join our organization. I put a brochure out for you to join. And, you know, if you're not doing anything in the middle of the day, we usually on Fridays, like we'll be at Dockville um, on September 23rd. Once you remember, we'll send something to you and come and meet with some of the people that you taught with and, you know, worked with over the years. So we'd appreciate you coming. If you want to come speak, I know y'all like speaking. 
I know that. <laughs> uh, socializing too. Yeah, that's what I told Barry. I said, I said, I know you don't like socializing, Barry, but you know, <laughs> you, you can re when you you know, you can be an active teacher still and join us. We we we're all su for supporting the teachers in the school system, and we've even uh, I think last year we put out word to teachers if they needed any of us to come volunteer to do something in their classroom. We can certainly see if we can get somebody to go because we have people that are interested in doing that. So anyway, the reason we are, huh? You got to take them up. Oh, and the support <laughs> personnel too can join. Yes, okay. it's everybody: bus drivers, uh, 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 paraprofessionals, all of that. Okay. Um, so anyway, I I open with a quote, and Rosemary made a comment after I gave it to her to read. I had an Elon Musk quote, and she goes, "You really want to start with him because." He's got a lot going on right now. So, so I changed it to Albert Einstein and I said, and the, in the middle, I just wanted something kind of goes in what we're, we're talking about today. And, the, and he said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. And you know, in the past, especially in the past two decades, we know there's been some very difficult times uh, for this community, uh, you know, with hurricanes and uh, uh, tornadoes and you know COVID and everything else which all school districts had problems with but anyway but yet the St. Bernard Parish schools had not only survived but flourished and the Association of the St. Bernard Parish retired teachers and support personnel want to acknowledge what the schools and have done over these many years so to the school board you all so many of you have uh, given so many years of service, like I was mentioning before, and so we want to acknowledge you and the new people on the board uh, for fostering the environment that encourages excellence in education. To our superintendent, Doris Voce, who helped bring this community uh, and schools back after the hurricane, Katrina, not Ida, but that's probably another one too. <laughs> it's a tornado too, but anyway. <laughs> Who's work on the Bessie board, and she told me she was coming from Bessie today, so she drove through the same bad weather I did, and it was horrible. Um, well, she helps, you know, guide the ex educational system in this state, and for the part partnership she has helped to develop with the St. Bernard community, which you were mentioning a minute ago, how you can call the police, and they're there like that. Uh, we acknowledge you for the leadership and vision in which you have provided the path that fosters educational excellence. And finally, to our teachers, administrators, and support personnel, those that give up themselves to free, so freely and in so many ways to make education work uh, after Katrina, during the COVID period, and now, we recognize you for the love you give to kids, the inspiration you give to students, the love, uh, I'm sorry, in, in reaching their goals, and in the education you pass on, and in the change you create to, in students and in their lives by going above and beyond providing the best experience which encourage our children to succeed and rise above the norm. And so we would like to present this award to all of you and the teachers and that. No, that's good. Uh, it states on there, we recognize you. It's from the St. Bernard Retired Teachers. We recognize you and honor the ongoing commitment of the St. Bernard Parish School Board and the dedicated teachers and support personnel in providing quality education instruction so that students in this community are responsible, productive citizens and life long learners so thank you all for your great work and continued work and we're watching the video and it's it's all you know so much fun when things are going great you know it's like <laughs> you know so anyway so we appreciate all of your efforts thank you give it to Chloe. <laughs> all right thank you and oh, Paul, yeah. let me just say that, uh, you know, it, it takes a village, a whole village of people yeah. to make things work. I put that in my speech. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but if you got the village and all the people working together, like this board, and then you got the administration, and you have the, the teachers, you know, and you know, I'm really aggravated with the state right now, you know, as far as that goes with the teachers, yeah. with the mandates. But as far as uh, what y'all have done, and uh, I want to take you up on that deal as far as coming to teach some days with, at our school system. <laughs> we'll, we will put the word out. We have some people that like want to do stuff. They ask me all the time. So certainly yeah. we'll get the word out. But the main thing is you think of the children first. Yeah. When you think of the children first, the level goes Exactly. Up. Okay? Exactly. Thank you all. All right. Thank you all. Good luck to you this year. I heard us. I heard school years been going pretty good. So let's. Yeah. <laughs> thank you all. Claire, thank you. If yeah, I could. Diana. And also, I just I want to thank all of y'all for coming tonight. I, we know you drove a long way, Paul, and I, we know y'all did. You did too. And um, we, as a board and as a citizen and a former teacher, I just want to say thank you. We appreciate what the Retired Teachers Association does. And we know that you've had huge hearts and everyone in the association. And you, you know, your heart was to educate children. And um, it's, it's great that you're continuing your quest and we appreciate this award. That's a oh, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. And thank y'all so much. That is really great. And we'll accept it on behalf of the board, the mm -hmm. superintendent, administrators, yeah. teachers, support personnel and, um, and we really appreciate all that y'all do. And Paul, you do a great job with the communications. If you don't do any, if, you know, as far it's as joining the, the organization, it's all about the communication. All mm -hmm. about the communication yeah. and, and I will let you know, we know St. Bernard Power School systems are really good. We trying to do the same thing in our organization and we get recognized across the state by some of the leaders about how good we do what they think we should be doing. You know, and some organizations don't. So we're just following what we used to, we're used to doing. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, thank you all again. We appreciate it, and thank you all for all of your good works yeah. and all of the And Paul, we've tapped teachers. some of y'all for interventionists and tutors. <laughs> so again, if you want to spread the word right. among right. your membership right. for the retired we teachers, we are looking for interventionists right. and tutors to work with our right. younger students. Miss Harlton is sitting right there who's <laughs> running our elementary program and she is on the lookout every day yes. for qualified people and they're no more qualified than our retired yeah. teachers here yeah. from St. Bernard. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I heard, 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 I that's good. Okay. That's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe at that table right there. That's beautiful. Okay, move on. Approval of the minutes, approval to incorporate the report of the general committee meeting of August 9th, 2022, into the August 23rd, 2022, the regular monthly meeting. So moved. So a motion by Mr. Warren. Second. Second. Oh, Ms. Lee Bowman. Any questions? Additions? Please cast your vote. Motion passes 9 0. Okay. 3.2, approval of the regular monthly meeting minutes of July 26th of 2022 as published on August 19th, 2022. Okay, okay by Mr. Smith. I'll second. Second by Ms. Jackson. Any corrections or additions? Please cast your vote. Motion passes 9-0. Okay. Next is the review of personnel changes for August 2022. Ms. Pritchett, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? It's good to be here tonight. How's it going? We're working hard. <laughs> <laughs> really hard. Right. Okay, right. I'm glad you threw out that um, that. Uh, offer to our 
retired people. We are looking for interventionists. Leanne's waiting for that information. <laughs> She's taking so, names now. Right yes, now. yes. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. This is for information purposes only. But do you have any questions for Ms. Pritchett? And we all up to date with everything, Ms. Pritchett? Yes. Everything's yes. good? Yes. That's very good. Good job. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Y'all have a good evening. Good thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, Ms. Dyson? We do have one additional um, uh, retiree, Joel Mastio from mm -hmm. Andrew Jackson. We want to wish Joel a very happy retirement, and thank you for your many years of service with us. Yeah. We appreciate it. I thank you. So we'll enjoy it. Okay, we'll go on to item number five. Approval of the St. Bernard Public Schools 2022-2023 Pupils Progression Plan. This was a recommendation by the committee. I also move that we Mr. accept Jackson. the um, Pupil Progression Plan. I second. Second by Ms. Lee Bowman. Any questions? This was discussed at the committee meeting. Please cast your vote. Motion passes 9-0. Okay, 5.2, adoption of the 2022 Louisiana Compliance Questionnaire. And so this was a recommendation by the committee. So moved. Mr. Warren. Okay. Mrs. Smith. We've got Mr. Fernandez. If you have any questions. Okay, please cast your vote. Motion passes 9-0. Now the next items that's going to be coming up is the mandated policy changes. I know we're all interested in that from the state. Um, so I'm going to go through them. If you have any questions, they will vote as a total. Okay. You said total? Yeah, that's a question. Yeah, right. But if you have any questions, um, we've got Ms. Pritchett here to answer any questions. Okay. Adoption or revision of school board policy BE. This was a recommendation by the committee. Any questions? 5.4. Adoption or revision of school board policy EDD. This is recommendation by the committee. 5.5. Adoption of revision of school board policy GAAA. This was a recommendation by the committee. All these were discussed at the committee meeting. Okay. 5.6, adoption of the revision of school board policy GAMB. This was a recommendation by the committee. 5.7, adoption of revision of school board policy JAA. This was a recommendation by the committee. Adoption of revision of school board policy JCDB. This was a recommendation by the committee. Any questions? 5.9, adoption of revision of school board policy JVD. This was a recommendation by the committee. Any questions? 5.10, adoption of revision of school board policy JQA. This was a recommendation by the committee. Any questions? 5.11, adoption of revision of school board policy JCDAF. This was a recommendation by the committee. 5.12, adoption of revision of school board policy JD. This was a re recommendation by the committee. Any questions? 5.13, adoption of revision of school board policy JDE. This was a recommendation by the committee. 
5.14, adoption of revision of school board policy JGC. This was a recommendation by the committee. Okay. 5.15, adoption of revision of school board policy JGCD. This was a recommendation by the committee. Five point one six adoption of revision of school board policy JM. This was a recommendation by the committee. Mr. Engel. Yes. <coughs> I just Mr. Warner. <coughs> on JM. Mm -hmm. Just uh, a thought or a statement. Sure. Um, and that is the the student voter registration policy yes. change that was. That's correct. Saint Bernard Parish School Board shall provide an opportunity for each high school senior was at least 17 years old to register to vote by using a school computer. Mm -hmm. I, my suggestion is that maybe we can work with our local register of voters to have a, a day maybe um, where she comes to the school and does a presentation to our 17 year olds. It's just a thought. I, yeah. you know, I think Ms. Pritchett, mm -hmm. good, good idea. Yes. We'll That'd follow through with that. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Ingram. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Great input. We can take care of that, Mr. Fritz. Thank you. 5.17, adoption or revision of school board policy DJED. This was the recommendation by the committee. Okay, so those are the policy changes, so I need a, a, a motion. Ms. Jackson. Second, Ms. Lee Bowman. Ms. Dysel. Yes. Thank you, Mr. England. Yes. And I know we discussed each of these um, adoptions of the um, revisions of these policies at length at the committee meeting, mm -hmm. but um, I just want to reiterate that all of these are based on state law, and that's why each of these had to be revised and, um, and additions. Mm -hmm. So um, just to say that, you know, it, really wasn't a local decision, but it was um, a state mandates, and many of these mandates will cost us additional monies, and these are being mandated without additional funds, but we need to pass them, and, um, you know, uh, again, they were based on state law. Yeah. So we really don't have a choice on some of these. Uh, you are correct, Ms. Dyson. Thank you. And in fact, we send resolutions up to Baton Rouge on deaf ears. Um, but we go work with the LSBA also, and they work hard. Janet Pope does a fantastic job up there, but uh, we need a little bit more push from our representatives. So, so we got a motion on the floor and a second. Any questions? Please cast your vote. Motion passes 9-0. Okay. <coughs> okay, 6.1, I'm to be placed on the next Committee meeting agenda. You can, uh, if you have something that you want to put on the agenda for the next meeting, please get in contact with Ms. Foche and she'll be glad to uh, discuss that issue with you. Okay, Superintendent Notes, Ms. Foche. Uh, just as we said at the last meeting, I think we've had a very smooth opening of school and uh, we've welcomed including our four-year-olds about 7,800 students we'll have better numbers and more exact numbers at our next meeting for you to take a look at and um, just a reminder that August 29th you know is the um, anniversary of I know it's Ida but it's for us more Katrina as well and normally we had for many, 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 many years our Katrina Day of Reflection breakfast. And we made a decision last year to move that date, um, even though for the last two years because of COVID, we have not been able to have one. But on the 29th, I know that parish government will be doing at 10 a.m. the Katrina Memorial down we're down at Shell Beach, Shell Beach, and I know our students will be participating in that, but we have changed the date of our day of reflection breakfast, as we discussed last year, and from now on, ours will be November 14th, 
which is actually after we buried the <coughs> buried Katrina at the breakfast, um, really signifies the day that we reopened after the storm as the first entity or educational entity in the area to reopen. Uh, so that morning of November 14th, 2005. So we will have our day of reflection breakfast beginning yearly, beginning this November 14th. Um, and since our theme is gratitude, you know, it will have the theme of gratitude. And we are putting together a very nice presentation for the breakfast. And we're hoping that we will get the same attendance. We usually have approximately 500 of our um, citizenry coming to the breakfast each year. So I'm looking forward to it. And please mark your calendars. Um, it's usually at 8.30. That morning and uh, we'll be getting more information out uh, relatively soon so people can mark the date and purchase tickets and it will be at the Shumut High School ninth grade Academy as we normally have had it in the past okay thank you Ms. Fletcher and also football season starts huh? oh well, Jamboree yeah, Friday jamboree. night <laughs> yeah so everybody get your tickets and go out to the stadium and cheer on the house and that does remind me, we, this past Saturday, we had the Shelman High School Alumni right. Association golf tournament. And uh, with the passing of Paul Granberry, he instituted it. He was, the first, he was the person that helped put together the very first one 30 years ago, 32 or whatever it was years ago. So um, the Alumni Association named it the Paul Granberry Memorial. Uh, golf tournament we had that first one Saturday it was a really great success and you know saw many of our uh, past yeah. students <laughs> I saw many of the young men that I taught who are now <laughs> grandfathers so it was a little disconcerting but you know how that goes <laughs> but anyway so it was a wonderful uh, day and I know the Granberry family was there and he together with Louis Bowden had done that as well. So we had the putting contest for Louis Bowden as well. <laughs> That's great. Okay. They were great individuals and they worked hard for our school system. Yes. They, they were well on it. Okay. Um, any questions for Ms. Foche from any board members? Being none? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Campbell, second by Mr. Egan. All in favor? Aye. This means the joint. Thank you and good night. I'm wondering what these.